Welcome to the Expectant Knitter Podcast. I'm your host, Steph, and you may notice a change in scenery. <laughs> um, I got out of work a little early today and decided to take advantage of the time and go record in the car. So here we are inside my CRV. <laughs> it's a nice, bright, sunny day. I hope you don't mind um, that we're outside. So it is April 22nd, 2010. This is week 21. It is not 2010, it is 2011, but it's still week 21. Um, <clears throat> I am currently 21 weeks pregnant, and this is my chronicle of my knitting adventures and experiences in being pregnant for the first time. Before we get started, I just want to take a minute and make sure everybody's aware of the auction that Steve from the Dramatic Knits podcast is putting together to help raise money for um, the relief effort in Japan. He is knitting the Japanese Garden Shawl by Wendy Johnson in um, this beautiful green wool miza. And I think he expects to be done in the next week or so and then he'll be putting it up on eBay. So check it, check out his um, podcast for more details, his blog. I think it's just dramaticknits.blogspot.com. Um, I'll link below in the show notes. Um, yeah. It's beautiful, and as you all know, I'm not a fan of knitting lace, but that is, he is doing a stellar job, so check it out if you're interested. Or buy the pattern yourself from Wendy, because her proceeds are going to also help the Red Cross in Japan. Now, on to my knitting world. What is going on? Well, excuse my ends, the, um, and my unblocked project here, it's, it's all rolly, I'm sorry about that. The... Green Zebra Baby Sweater by Dove Knits that I was working on last week in Reynolds Review on US 6's size 4 millimeter, millimeter needles. It's finished! <laughs> God, it's such a mouthful to spit all that out. Um, the color, it's a navy blue and a teal. I don't know if you can tell. I'm really happy with how it came out. I did have a bit of a gauge issue. Um, I started knitting this 18 month size, but realized uh, on size six is never gonna happen. So I dropped down. This is probably a, for a six or a nine month old, I would say. So this is my first completion, not that I'm eligible, but my first completed sweater for the Cardigan Contest Cal that I'm running over on the um, Expectant Knitter podcast group over on RAV. Um, Details on the contest, just real quick. No, I'm not gonna go into the contest. I'll go into the contest later. So, first sweater done. When I was getting near the end of that, I had said that I wanted to work on, um, to start one of the other five sweater options next. But when that was finished and I had such a good time knitting it and it wasn't exactly the size I wanted, I decided I would cast on with the leftovers from the Maja, the Lion Brain Cottonese that, um, so I had some left, I had like eight mini skeins, eight uh, 40 yard bits of yarn left. So I went out and got um, some more of a, an additional skein of this sea spray, the teal colorway, and to make sure I could use that for the main body color and cast on. So this is truly the 18 month size. And you can see all the colors that were in the blanket. This is gonna have the salmon color up at the top. That's the last, well, salmon and the almond color the last two to make it onto the sweater. Um, it's going really good. I'm using US size eight, what is that? Five millimeter, millimeter needles. And you know, just knitting a row here, a row there. And it's, I've probably got about two hours left of knitting on this and it's probably taken me 10 hours. I mean, these are, this is a really quick knit. Baby knit, baby knit, so fast, so fun, so colorful. So hopefully it's a good it color. Of course it's teal. Why wouldn't it be teal? Teal is all I know how to knit with these days because that's what um, unknown babies should wear or unsexed babies should wear in my mind. I'm a little crazy today, I don't know. So that's coming along. Look for that to be finished by next week for sure. Speaking of more finishing this, um, last time we were together, I talked about pulling out my Cookie A BFF socks and wrapping those up because I was motivated after finishing the Juanitas. Um, I had one and about that much of the second one done. 
I pulled them out this week. I knit like a crazy person and now I have two finished socks. Woo! A pair, if you will. Um, I know the Regia stretch color is definitely a highly variegated yarn and the little mini cables of this pattern don't really show, but I wasn't really knitting it to show off mini cables. I mean, pretty simple pattern. I more wanted something to keep my brain engaged while I was knitting a rib sock for myself in this yarn. So that's done, or these are done. Um, glad to have them off my needles. This is pair 33, I believe, I in the 52 pair plunge. I am so not gonna make that. <laughs> Give up on that around Christmas. But last May, I think it was, May or June? I think it's June to the end of May. I signed up for the 52 pair plunge for my second year. And the first year I made it through like 24 pairs. So I knew I'd do better this time around. And I totally have, 33. And I should get another pair or two completed before the end. So um, anyway, so these count towards that and they're off my needles. I flipped through the Knit Sock Love book today, this morning, looking for my next pair of socks to cast on, thinking that, um, Oh goodness, am I, am I flashing you? X-rated, X-rated. Okay, sorry. It's hot here today. It's like 50 something. Um, but nobody needs to see me in a tank top. <laughs> yeah, so I flipped through the book trying to find inspiration, but all of the new sock yarn I've purchased in the last couple of weeks is striped and I really want to do something with stripes and none of those crazy cookie patterns lend themselves to stripe yarn. So that is out. Not this time, maybe next time. But these are done, so that's excellent. I had a slight smidge of progress this week on um, my Blind Venus socks. Steve and I were, we rearranged our bedroom, which actually ended up, um, we actually flipped it. So the bed was on this wall with the TV over here. And now the TV's over here and the bed is on this wall. Like, we spent five hours with him moving everything and me standing there going, put that there. Okay, now put it there. Now put it there. I mean, we tried 15 million arrangements. And while we were doing that, I was knitting because he was like, do not touch anything. I don't want you moving things. And I was appreciative of that because by the end of it, I was still exhausted um, just from being on my feet and using my brain. I don't know. We're rearranging furniture is tiresome but we were re rearranging so that the desk furniture from the guest room could move into our bedroom so that the guest room can become the nursery and we're getting so close and he worked in the garage and oh, the bed there's place for the bed in the garage so we are like up against the wall don't worry we're not setting up the guest room in our garage <laughs> yes welcome sleep in the cold garage um yeah so Anyways, while he was rearranging things, I knit probably two inches on this. So we're getting close. This is, um, oh, this sock and the last sock were knit on US 1.5 millim, 1.5, 2.5 millimeter, millimeter needles. I will not be able to say that word. Ah, um, yeah, and this is opal my favorite this is regia my fourth favorite i don't know it's near the top it's not for like a workhorse yarn so pretty faded colorway though huh surprising i wanted rainbow for baby something and so i got this but then once i started knitting it with it i was like oh that's way too muted baby colors need to be bright and saturated so anyways those are coming along yay what else do I have to show you? Um, so I'm knitting like crazy for my baby, right? And if you watch me, you must watch 90% Knitting, His and Hers, all the, the basic good, excellent podcasts that are out there. You must have heard about the preemie caps. So yeah, I'm, I'm throwing myself in on that too. <laughs> um, I knit a couple this week to send to May Mariabella over on His and Hers. I finished a bunch today. This one. Well, it's almost finished, but whatever. I need to weave in my ends. So, <clears throat> I saw the podcast and heard the call and thought, I'm knitting like crazy for my own baby, and that's all well and good, but there are little babies out there that need more love, need my love, need extra love, all the love we can give them. So, 
if you have some leftover sock yarn and haven't checked them out please please do and join and it takes I don't know an hour two hours to knit one of these things they whip up really fast and they're great for using up the little tiny bits of leftover sock yarn that you have that you're never going to use for anything else so I'm doing all mine in either 100% um, merino or super soft merino nylon blend because I don't want Regia or Opal on right next to a little baby's head. I wouldn't put it on my baby, so I don't expect anyone to put it on theirs. So go over to his and hers, check out the details, knit some preemie hats. All right, what else? I have this, and this pouch is looking at me, and I don't know what's in it, and it's bugging me, so I just have to be... I know what's in it. It's my next skein of sock yarn I'm going to knit. So this is um, Reg Regia, oh god, Abascu color. It's a striping yarn with purples and violet and green and blue and pink and lavender. It's very pretty. You'll see it <clears throat> soon. Um, what else do I want to talk to you about? I'm sorry, I'm not like super highly organized this week the cardigan contest so we've talked about it before um, it is a chance to we have about five weeks by the June 1st yes by June 1st the contest will close come over join knit one baby sweater knit five baby sweaters knit a hundred baby sweaters post a picture in the forum and get a chance to win a prize um, there are four skeins of sock yarn that I will be offering up as prizes um, and it has to be one of the five patterns that I've called out and those are lesser known patterns I you know someone suggested well what about baby surprise jacket everybody's knit a baby surprise jacket I'm I'm looking to give some love to the little known designers out there so and of course tulips is one of the patterns that we're talking about that's more well known but um, that's not a for free so four of the five are for free patterns so knit one of those up and I just want to say a quick shout out to um, the new people that have joined the contest this week or the Cal this week Kara in California Alyssa in Florida Jennifer in Pennsylvania Jen in the UK and Lyway I don't know where she is but she's joining us so hey 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 <laughs> baby sweater it doesn't have to be for you or your baby it can be for someone you know because everybody's having babies this time of year it's baby time of year Woo! so this is one of the price gains that I am wheeling around over here um, it is string theory caper sock in which is an 80% superwash 10% cashmere 10% nylon 400 yards 4 ounces I love this yarn. This is one of my favorite yarns in the entire world. It is the softest thing you will ever touch. Um, <clears throat> the colorway is called Labradite. It is mainly teal, imagine, with some, um, God, what color would I call that? I don't know. Some taupe, taupe, little darker navy spots, a little lighter teal spots it's beautiful it would be a wonderful shawl I would love to wear this around my neck and the slight variation in color would just huh, make it pop so you could win this if you knit a baby sweater so knit a baby sweater <laughs> I don't know why I'm pushing preemie hats and baby sweaters and auctions I'm just pushing everything today <laughs> oh so there you go that's that's one of the prize games um <clears throat> so what's on no, what's next? Expectations. Week 21. We have eyebrows. I already had them, but now the baby has them. <laughs> and we also have lots of salsa. That's about all I can come up with for a weird food craving so far. So I'm over five months. I'm like five and a half months at this point. And all I really want to eat are eggs with salsa. Baked potatoes with salsa and cheese burritos with salsa I want salsa on everything that goes with salsa <laughs> so and it's funny before I was really really fussy about the kind of salsa like David and Harry's was my favorite Texas style if I couldn't have that I would settle for Tostitos but I didn't really didn't like it that much um, I'll take anything I can get you know whatever they have in the cafeteria at work that's fine just layer it on the more the merrier so 
lots of salsa and eyebrows this week. <laughs> and what else is going on? We had, Steve and I went to our first um, baby education class. Please hold. Okay. So uh, the first class was called Your Pregnant Body, which was really funny. Whenever Steve said it to me, I was like, yeah, what about my pregnant body? <laughs> um, it was two hours long and lots of information. Not a lot that I didn't already suspect, no, wasn't naturally doing, you know, like um, your neck hurts because of your strained posture, you're leaning back and you push your neck forward. So best thing to do is put your head back in the car, like up against your head rest. I already do that. Um, but she did make a funny point that if you stop at a stoplight and look around at the other drivers, everybody drives like this with their necks jutting out and it is fine. We do all do that. So if you're driving a car, try and put your head back against the seat for like, ten, up against the headrest for like 10 seconds, she was saying, and work your way up to more. That really doesn't have anything to do with pregnancy, does it? Mm -mm. Uh, the other thing I got out of it is that flat feet are a danger for pregnant women. Like your the tendons, everything relaxes while you're pregnant. We all know this. And so does the arch in your foot. So it's really important to wear shoes with good arch support. Don't walk around barefoot. Get flip-flops that have arches built into them. Okay, I can do that. Um, and peas, frozen peas will later on be my friend. <laughs> I was actually a little afraid, and I am for all of these classes, that they'll go into super detail. And I do not have a very strong stomach. Like, there was one point where I had to, like... She's talking about abdominal muscles ripping and the way to feel if you have this, I don't know, whatever. And I was like, okay, I can't look. I have to look over here and look down. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to do if they make us watch a video of a live birth or something. But she was pretty gentle on us. And I'll just saying that, you know, yeah, they, after birth we might need some frozen peas for a few days. That's okay. I can handle that. So... Otherwise, it's going good. Steve got to wear the um, the belly simulator, so it's like this 35-pound get-up that they, they first they like strap down his lungs so he can't breathe, and then they put on this bean bean filled or some sort of filling um, get-up that looks like an apron, but it velcros around him really tight. That has big giant breasts, a big giant belly. And then they have another, like, smaller, hard bean bag that they, like, pick up the belly and stick up against his bladder. And then there is, so he gets all this on, and they put a, a shirt over him so he looks decent. He just looks pregnant. And uh, I was so laughing so hard through all of this. And he was such a good sport. He turned red, but he, he played it off like no big deal. And then he got to go sit down, and she made him sit like that for, like, ten minutes. And then asked him how he felt, and he was like... Man, I can't breathe, and sitting down's really hard. <laughs> but he was good. It was fun to... I mean, it's not like he needs some empathy for me. He's got plenty of empathy, but it was funny. Just the same to see him in that getup. And even though I took pictures, no, I'm not sharing them. I don't think you would appreciate that. Um, so that's what's going on. <laughs> uh, so what's new with you? What's going on? What are you thinking about knitting next? Let's talk about it. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about knitting next. I got some new yarn this week. I'm not going to show it all to you. It would be embarrassing if I did. And you would yell at me. So I will just show you this skein. This is, you've seen them before, right? Three use Twisted and Fiber. I contacted Crystal and Chrissy. <clears throat> and said, could you please make me a skein of the Tweedles self-striping? So this is it. It is a gold brown color with red and blue self-striping. Um, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is a 75 superwash, 25% nylon, 440 yards. They're super fast making it, getting it to me. I love it. It's squishy and soft. And, oh, I have to knit with that next. So, there you go. I don't know what the best way to show it is, but the ribbon is perfectly the uh, gold brown color. So, I love it. I got that. I got, 
I got, but I did not bring it with me. I don't believe. No, I didn't. I got the Spud and Chloe sweater yarn to make the sprout blanket that I had talked about before. So I got the exact yarn, which I never, ever, ever do. I didn't get the exact color. I was very tempted, but no. I got drawn away. Would you like to guess what color I was drawn away to? So instead of doing the um, grass green color, I did... What color did I do? I didn't write it down. It's a teal. Moving on. Let's not focus on that. Um, yeah, and you saw the stripey yarn that that I'm going to cast on tonight to make the um, Meandering Circular Ziggies by Bonnie Zink. So that'll be with US one and a half. So now I'll just knit and it'll be nice. And it's a really simple pattern. It's a one row um, repeat. It's like every other row is knit. And on the off rows, you do the yarn overs and knit two together to make zigzaggy lines instead of straight striped yarn straight straight stripes because I wanted to change so that's that um and of course when I finish that sweater I'll be starting another baby sweater and knitting more preemie hats and being a happy pregnant woman because it's five and a half months or something and I'm feeling good and not having any symptoms and oh boy this is not gonna last forever and I know it but right now I'm doing good. So I hope you are doing good, having a good week. Sorry this is a little late getting to you, but better late than never, right? And I will talk to you next week when I have more updates on everything. <laughs> have a good time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.